Y'all are about to get some friends. Huh, Peppa and George? Well, good afternoon. <laughs> I got this rash decision. I was supposed to be working today, and really I'm supposed to be at work still, but you know we're always wanting something uh, like any other homestead, and we came across a good deal on some some feeder pigs. I guessed it. <laughs> yeah, I feel I like you see it time. The kids didn't know about it yet. So I, I we guess. um. Cody now these... called me and was like, "Uh, we're gonna get some pigs." And I was like. <laughs> They've already been uh two okay. there's two there's two male piglets two boars that's already cut and then she's got three females and they're just trying to get rid of them and uh it worked out good because we're looking for big feeder pigs to put and kind of have a yeah to make bacon <laughs> but uh we're gonna put them under our pine thicket and kind of forge in those woods kind of behind us there but um before we got that set up we don't have it set up and ready so we're gonna have to put them in their piglets so we're going to put them in with the American guinea which hogs which is not a bad idea because yeah. if we put them over there. And they're kind of little i would really be afraid of what would happen at night yeah so, so until they get a little bit bigger i think that they'll plus, be safest closer if to you're us. following us on our vlog you know that we're fixing to leave heading up to tennessee and kentucky for a few days so i, I was just worried about putting them in temporary mm -hmm. fencing in a place that they're not known and us come back and have no pigs here so we're going to put them in with american guinea hog and permanent pen fencing while we wait but we have to kind of make a little kind of a a barrier because I'm scared what the boar would do with them. Yeah, being we just want to make sure that they're not going to get hurt when they're in there with the two other ones that are so much bigger than they are. So because we know that animals have pick and order. So Aiden and uh, mommy are going to go ahead and do some hay for the cows. I'm going to get uh, the pig fence built because they are on, they're on their way. way. You're like an hour away. When we so. decided that we were going to get them, they were like, "Okay, we can bring them right now." <laughs> they're so trying we're to get like, rid of them. Okay, so. so we're scrambling to try to get ready. All right, we're going to get started. Do y'all make rash decisions like this? I'm carrying this here and it has already rained probably four and a half to five inches. I'd say in the south the last few days. So this is just a mud hole right now. All that fresh hay is just completely destroyed. So we're gonna go ahead and get them in here though. That will get us through. Now here's the, right there. All that pine thicket all back in there where the other drive is coming in. That will be where we have the, the forest pigs. But for the time being, they're gonna have some neighbors and I don't, I don't, not that I don't trust him, he's, he's sweet as he can be, but with new piglets that are not his, I'm just kind of worried. So I'm not going to chance it, I'm going to put them beside them and take half this pen and just make it where it's just for them and just feed them some corn and things like that to kind of make them where they get kind of used to us before we just put them out in the wood, you know, in the woods. So let's get started building it. So you can see that this whole section was our um, pig pen, but what we've basically done is just sectioned off a portion here for the babies 
Um, this Usually is, this looks better. Usually it looks better, but we've had, what, three to five inches worth of rain the we last We've had a ton of rain. You can look over there and see that their hole that they usually lay in, which is pretty deep, two feet, and it's full of water. So um, we just sectioned off this portion here um, to, to them. And they should be here at any point in time, and we're going to see how it goes. All right, so we got the pig, the new little temporary pig setup done. Um, you can see how pretty that grass is. Look how gorgeous that grass is starting to grow for the winter cows, or the winter grass for the cows. So this is where the corn was, if you remember. Now, I took my permaculture chicken net down. I think I've been so excited about how good the silage tarp is doing. I'm going to slide the silage tarp down. I've got one more silage tarp that would encapsulate this area, which is the rest of my rows. So I think what I'm going to do is slide that down to where I had my, my netting and move my netting to where this flat spot is where I always grew my corn. My corn has always struggled anyway, and you, if y'all watch my vlogs, it always has. So maybe if I put the chickens here, I'll have a better chance of growing better corn next year. So. I think that's what we'll do. Let that rest with silage tarps and come in here and put the chickens right on top of this. So since I got a little time before the people get here with the pigs and the piglets, we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. it up mommy helped us start look how good it looks it looks real nice we've got it all tight so now it's on flat ground with the last thing we've got to do is actually um, go ahead and, and build the little the little mobile coop or the chick shawl that will go in here um, we're doing more of a chicken tractor with wheels it's, it's a mixture of a Joel Salatin's with a little bit of the uh, Josh Satin and also uh, Justin Rhodes so that's what we're gonna do here we've got a uh, the shocker knot from Premier One Fence coming uh, for the meat chickens, so that's that's done. Uh, and also we've got again ready to see these new pigs. So hopefully they'll be here in the next second, and you'll be able to see them. And uh, more videos coming on them, I guess. But they are strictly going for bacon. It's gonna be good. It is gonna be good. So. can't trust them in their temporary wire until I'm back and know I'm going good. Now they, they've been uh, they've been on electric fence. Good. They've been on electric fence uh, and I, I've seen them. Oh y'all are so pretty boys. Yeah. <laughs> yes they are. Okay, I'm trying to hear you get them off. I can pick them up and come around a little bit. Alright. The new uh, feeder hogs are here. I'll let the kids name them. But uh, it's basically, it's, it's three little cut boars and then two sows um my american guinea hog they kind of looked at them at first and was kind of saying you know who you know what are they doing here george and peppa had a little 
had a little squealing match to see if they could, uh, I guess, intimidate them. But if we have them, they're going to be a great addition to our farm because ultimately our American guinea hog will provide us heritage breed, uh, lard, pigs, and we're going to utilize them for their babies and, like I said, for selling little piglets, but also use those more as a lard pig to get pork chops off of. These will hopefully become ham and bacon. So uh, I think it's a great addition. They're doing their job. They're rooting up. We gave them some hay. Now they will not stay here. This is just temporary until we get back. Um, I mean, it does everything they need it to do, but pretty much they're gonna move away from this area all the way over here. And they will work this area like Jordan Green teaches and Joel Salton and Justin Rhodes. Um, and this what's so funny, the couple that actually just dropped off, sweet couple from uh, down the road. Oh, that's about an hour from us. Uh, but they they started talking about homesteading and things like that and what they do and their operations. They were huge, uh, you know, pastured pork and permaculture pigs uh, fans. So I thought that was a real neat thing to be able to tie in with them. So uh, we hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you like what you see, subscribe. We're always doing something crazy on the farm and adding things that we probably uh, are in rush to do. And uh, again, we got a video coming up soon on some fall honey that we're going to be pulling. And uh, we hope that you have a great night, though. God bless. Happy homestead, y'all.